Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by WebVidTouch.com. This is video 13 in the HTML training series, and in this video we will be starting to learn some CSS. What is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And what it is, is, you know how we did the style tags in some uh, earlier video? Well, what a cascading style sheet is, it's one sheet of a bunch of styles that you can use to quickly and very efficiently change the style of your tags and your entire web page very quickly and efficiently. And then applying all the styles to whichever elements, tags, anything that you assign it to, to a style. So let's go ahead and let's go work with some cascading style sheets. First off, let's go ahead and let's go make a paragraph tag right in the body. Closing and ending. Opening and ending. And then in this paragraph tag, let's write this is some example text. And we're excited to learn about CSS. So let's go put some, uh, why do I keep calling them quotes? Some exclamation points right there and now that we're done writing that let's go ahead and just save it as you know if we run this it's just going to have some text right there and some example text nothing special at all because we haven't applied any styling to our page yet now let's go ahead and header tag let's go right here right below it this is where we're going to start coding our style sheet right at so just go ahead and follow along what I type. Right now we're going to open a tag and then we're going to just uh, write style like we did in the other videos. Except this time we'll put a space and we are going to write type. So we're going to define what type the style is going to be. And we're going to have it say text slash CSS because we are making a style sheet. And go ahead and close that up now let's skip down a few lines let's close that style tag alright go ahead and save your work and this in this area right here this is where we're going to define our, our, all of our styles let's say we want to style a paragraph and some par all the paragraph tags well this is where we would write Okay, for every paragraph tag, make the background blue, make the, all the fonts Arial, and everything just like that. Um, or, let's say, for every body element, which is only going to be one, for the body of the page, go ahead and make the background blue or orange. Set all the fonts on the body to white. You know, just, just all the uh, properties you can assign with the styles attribute. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of CSS right now. Okay, um, let's say we want to assign all the paragraph tags to have a certain look to them. What we're going to do is go right in between where our style tags are and we're going to write P. This is what we're going to change the P tag or the paragraph tag. And put a type of space after that and use a left curly brace, which is shift and the bracket, the left bracket button. This is saying, like, okay, we're ready to define all of our styling for the P tag. And right after that, just go ahead and hit enter a few times and put a right curly brace. White curly brace just means okay we are done styling for the P tag. And now in between it is where you put all your styling to it. Go ahead and save that. Now what do we want every P tag? <coughs> Excuse me. Now what do we want to have every paragraph tag to look like? Well let's say we want all the font to be Arial of all of oh of all of our p tags. So you go ahead and write font family Arial 
this is the same exact way we're going to type it just as if we went into the p tag and changed the style like this the font frame like that like we did in the other video except in this time we're just going to do some internal CSS which will take care of everything for us instead of having to go into every p tag and write font family Arial, font family Arial, font family Arial it's just really nice to use CSS to quickly do this and manage everything for us for every p tag and so after every uh, every property of the style you're going to change remember you always add a semicolon at the end and a colon when you're about to enter a value right after that and so all of our text will now be Arial so actually let's go ahead and run this just to show you that it's working and as you can see we have some Arial font right here which means our internal CSS is working quite well right now <coughs> excuse me and let's say I want every paragraph tag's font size to be, let's say, 14. I like that size. Font. So do font size 14 pixels. And that right there. And this will make every font, all the font inside the P tags, 14 pixels. So let's go ahead and launch that. As you can see, the text got smaller than the default. So that text right there is 14 pixels big. Um, now let's say I want all the color of the font to be... Uh, what's a nice color? I don't think we've used green. Let's use green. Go ahead and change the color. This is the way you change the color of the text. And this is the value green. And we'll make all the text green and the p tag. So let's go ahead and launch that. And there's some example text that's green. As you can see the internal CSS had changed the color of our fonts in the p tag to green. Now let's go ahead and make another p tag. And let's write this is some more example text that I'm using. And we're excited about this too. We're always excited. Go ahead and put your closing p tag right there and go ahead and save it just in case your computer freezes or blows up and you want that work to be saved. Now if we go ahead and run this again, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see that the next paragraph is changing the color too, even though I did not go into the p tag and change the style by itself right here. I actually just we just got that style from the internal CSS that we have. So what the browser is doing is like, okay, this guy has defined that every p tag should have these three properties right here. So we're gonna change the font size, the font family, and the color of all the p tag of all the text in the p tags to green. We we'll change the fonts to 14 and Arial. And that's basically all it's, it's all it's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's go ahead and see what happens when you don't write a p tag and what how we will format it. Let's go this is some example text that's not in a P tag. Sorry about that too. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's run this. What should happen is since it's not in the P tag, it's not gonna get any of this stuff right here on it, on its style. And as you can see, it is nothing like the other text because these are in their own paragraph tags which we define what a paragraph tag looks like right here and then this is not in a paragraph tag so that is just straight text straight default style text right there and let's say we want to change the body the body tag how everything the body looks like we just put body right there since we're going to change the body tag all the body tags which is only one so you only need to write that go ahead let's write Let's write our curly braces. So we say, okay, we're about to define the style for the body tag. Let's write background color equals. So it goes good with green. I don't think. Let's do yellow. Only thing we ever use yellow. Do that. And what should happen is the browser to be like, okay, for the body tag, we're going to make the background of the body yellow. So let's go right here between these two tags and just make the whole document yellow. So let's go ahead and run this. 
And like we, like I said, it made the whole document yellow because it's like, okay, the body tag. Well, we we'll just make the background of the body tag yellow. And since the body tag is all the content inside the web page, makes the entire background yellow. All right, that is the end of this video. Hope you guys learned some more. Actually, hope you guys learned how to use CSS and some internal CSS programming skills or yeah I guess we could say that or coding skills that'd be more precise thank you all for watching this video uh, stay tuned in for next video when we'll probably go over some more internal CSS probably well just stay tuned for next video and you'll find out thank you all for watching go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and go ahead and register as a member on webvidtouch.com and you all have a good day goodbye